Hi, welcome back to Be Wowed by April Lee. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is just a really quick video of, I think I have some whips and I have some finished objects and I have a meowing cat. Um, I've been wanting to make this video for a while and I just haven't been able to do it. So today I'm going to show you my most recent one and I did this guy today, this morning, because I was so excited. Y'all heard about Strangy Ding Ding, right? Yep. Just like Kayla from Mama Mama Kayla, I'm also a Ding Dong. I've been a Ding Dong for quite a while now, thanks to Ella from No Stitchy Name. It's all her fault. Um, just calling you out there, Ella, for, you know, for all it's worth. but. Today she released another pattern and it was bugs. So I made this cute little bug. Now let me tell you I did a couple things wrong with them. One he looks just adorable. I put eyes on him that has brown in it. I don't know if you can tell. Let's see if we can get it to show. You can kind of see it a little bit there. Ugh. If you look right here. My finger makes it go. You can see like that brown in it just a little bit. There you go, a little bit of brown. Anyhow, um, instead of doing all black eyes, I decided to make him with just a little bit of brown around there. So I have these eyes, so I did that. And she used eyes, safety eyes, for the spots, which I loved because I don't like to sew all the spots on. Now she says you can use three or four. I decided I wanted to use four. I did not consider putting on the head. When I made him, I put one of the spots kind of like right here, which is where the head is. So now, right, basically, the head is covering up one of my spots. Oh, wow. And then I put these two guys here, there, and then there's one there. And then there was this stripe that's supposed to go down the middle of the back, right? So you'll see how cute he is, his little legs. Look at his little legs, see? They're just adorable. And all it was is you just, as you're crocheting on and attaching the bottom of this, you just, you crochet so much and then you crochet out. Like she only had you crocheting out, I think like five. I decided to crochet out six or eight and then make the, I think these legs look much better, a little bit bigger for the size of the, the bug. And then you just uh, slip stitch into the second stitch from the hook, go down. And then crochet, uh, slip stitch a couple more, and then come out, slip stitch a couple more, come back out, you know. So that's how it is, and it actually it creates this line. I'm not sure if I really like that, but it did, it did that. It crochet, it made that line going across there. And then this is the best thing in the world. Look how straight my line is. Isn't that great? It's just perfectly straight, you know. Yoop. Yeah. I wasn't drunk when I was making this, I promise. I, and I really did my best to get that stripe. I mean, straight. I, I took a piece of yarn and I thought, well, maybe if I attach it here and I can just run along the string and just use that as a guide. Yeah, my thought didn't work. But it's there and he's adorable. And I just thought that he was just... And then for the for these... She mentioned about putting a piece of black in there and bringing it up and having two pieces of yarn and then knotting something. I wasn't grasping on, so what I just did is I took two pieces of yarn, and it may be what she was trying to explain, but it's this is how I did it. And then I just kept knotting. I just kept tying knots until I got about this big. And then I just tightened the top one up just a little bit more than normal and then just tied it off or just cut it off and I did the same for this so I that really makes really cute um, antennas if you're ever looking for antennas like two pieces of yarn and just knot until you get up to the top so that's my little bug and then they she has it where you can make bees so you can make I'm sure she made this she made this one out of bees I think where you do stripes going across this way and the way you make bees going across here um, so I'll probably may, definitely be making a bunch more of these, but I wanted to show you that. This is another one of Stringy Ding Ding's 
free patterns. So this is that one was a free pattern that just came out today, actually. Today is Sunday, May 1st. And this is another free pattern that has a lot of cat hair on it because I had it sitting on my dresser and Jemmy likes to go up and rub against it. So this is her free pattern and he is huge. The only thing I thought was a little bit disportioned was his ears, but I noticed somebody else, I just watched her today, um, what was her channel? Something Crochet Mouse? I'll link her below when I find her. Um, but she made him too, but she made him in, um, a heathered yarn, I think, like a brown heathered yarn. I wanted to make mine in this I just I had this yarn laying around and I forget I think it's uh, I think it's Premier Basic or Big Twist one of those two I don't remember I'm sorry I don't have the pattern the thingy with me it's horrible but um, and then I just used this this is I think just Aaron which is a Red Heart Super Saver and then I did his mouth his little nostrils and then his eyes and he has his cute tail back here these this lighting isn't the best but I'm sorry about that once I get my crochet room together it'll be much better and there I can set up my lighting but he has this cute tail and he just sits there he's adorable and this is a free pattern as well I will link it below so if you want it and if you want to check out, if you do a lot of amigurumis or want to start amigurumi, um, and join the Ding Dongs, Olive from the Ding Dongs is, she has a lot of like how to start amigurumi, like how to, the beginner's course. Um, if you have always wanted to do, um, make money on your crochet, she has videos on how to create a or how to utilize your crochet and make money. She has a video that I watched just today on how to create your logo using Canva. Um, she has just a whole bunch of videos and she's just a very sweet gal. So go check her out and I think you'll really enjoy her her um, her channel. She does, I think she has other things other than Emma Gromy. I'm sorry, my brain really isn't here today. Um, I'm sure you understand. Um, if you watched, I don't know which one's going to come out first, but I was in a car accident yesterday. I'm okay. I'm just sore. The other person was okay. Um, my car is drivable. I had I had to get my donut put on, but mentally I'm just not here. So this is somebody who has been hanging around. I haven't named him yet. I'm going to name him soon. I'm thinking about Harry because I had a, fr a really good friend. Harry, he passed away and he was goofy like a monkey would be and I think that would be a good choice but I'm not sure yet. But that is one. Um, this is one last finished object. I don't think I showed him yet. This is also Stringy Ding Ding free pattern. Isn't he cute? And of course she made him in like tan colors. I wanted to go off the wall so I made him in green and purple and yellow. You know you can get the true colors. And then let me turn his face. Look at his face. He's so cute. Hey mama girls. And got his little antennas up here. Thought he was just adorable. So that was my last finished object. Now my whip I'm making is in my bag that I made. This is, this is a very soft bag so it collapses very easily. So I, just, I actually took this to the hospital with me last night. Wasn't sure if I was going to have time to crochet or not but I have two done. So what I'm doing is I'm making a rainbow flag but I'm gonna make it in these strips so each of these strips are gonna be hanging down 
I'm gonna, you know, in 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 the um in the order that they're supposed to, but they're just gonna be strips hanging down, and it's gonna be. And I'm gonna go across, get a dowel rod, and it's gonna go across, and somehow I'm going to either invest in my drill that I've wanted um, so I can make holes in there and and put the twine through there and things like that and then I'm gonna put tassels on the bottom of these I should switch it down on the bottom of these and that's gonna help give it some weight but um, I have the orange and the blue done and I'm working on the purple and I have the yellow and green balls in here and black I don't know if I'm gonna need black but I use that for something else but that is and I am using a a tulip 5.5 millimeter it's one of my favorites other than clovers these are my next favorites they're very similar to clovers but just a tad bit different that made sense so that is one of my whips that I have going on another whip this is not using any kind of pattern um, I am using the Comfy Cotton Blend and this is a number three yarn. I think it's more of like a number four to be honest with you. Um, it is called Soothing Lavender is the colorway. It is 392 yards. It's machine washable and dryable. 50% cotton, 50% polyester. And I started, I took measurements around my waist, um, like around my hips, and I started on a tank top. And the tank top I have, it's gonna, it started with, I um, started with um, a single crochet, and then I think I did a, tri a half double crochet, and then I started into my pattern. And all I did with my pattern is I'm doing three uh, half doubles. Um, chain two, skip two, three, uh, I can't talk, three half doubles, chain two, skip two, three half doubles, and that moving on. And then when I get to the end, I try to make it, if you see this, they're not quite stacked on top of each other, like this one and this one, this one and this one matches, but this one's off to the side a little bit. So I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to get them like every other row off to the side. I'm only going to have this go up probably another, another, you know, like three rows of this on top of here. And then I'm going to start into probably just using uh, half to half double crochets because, like, I think half uh, double crochets is going to be too much. It's going to be where I'm going to have to put something underneath it, and I don't want to have to do that. So, um, and then I'm not sure how I'm going to do the, the neckline. Or the straps but that's what I started on and I have it it's 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 a long piece I'm a big girl I'm 4x at least I'm about 4x so it's you know this is it's just gonna be one rectangle and then I'm gonna put it and sew it together like this at this at the ends and then that's how it's gonna be made so that's what I'm working on there um, this is oh this is a gnome tissue box that I started a while ago I haven't sorry about this I haven't finished it or worked on this for a while um, and this is a pattern by Heidi Yates, Snappy Tots. And here's another part of it. And I have the top of this one done. And I have this one done. And then I have all the... I have this half flower. And I have some of the noses, I have all the pieces of the beard all cut out. 
So that is in my little basket that I found at the Dollar Tree. Isn't it adorable? And I just put that in there. So that is my whips. I have three whips and three finished objects for you today. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you do um, come back for some more fun. I am going to try to keep going with my videos. I am going to do the best I can and give you the best I can. That's all I can tell you. Um, I wish you guys all the best. I hope you all stay safe. And as I say all the time, is please tell someone you love them. Um, you never know what tomorrow brings. Tomorrow's never guaranteed. So always keep in touch with people. Don't let a long time go before you reach out to them and say, hey, how you doing? You know, simple things like that. But so I hope you all have a great day. Thank you again for taking the time and out of your busy schedules to um, see what I'm doing. And until next time, take care. Love you guys.